Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading The Remarried Empress, episode 155. And I haven't done a disclaimer in a long time, but I'm gonna do a quick one. Just to let you guys know out there who are new to my channel, I do read these things like these webtoons for fun to practice my English pronunciation. As y'all can tell, I do have a slight accent. Um, I My first language is Vietnamese and I have been practicing my English accent American accent <laughs> for the longest time since middle school. So it went from a very, very Vietnamese accent speaking English to uh, this now. So please be patient as I do struggle with a bit of some of the words. Um, I am not, I'm Vietnamese, I'm not Korean. So some words in Korean I cannot say. I'm not Irish, so yeah, I can't I can't say a lot of words in different languages when it's translated to English. So please be kind. I read some of your comments lately that kind of like criticized me for the way I cannot pronounce a Korean word. And I was like, well, I'm trying. Please be patient. If you can, type it out where it sounds out for me and I can practice saying it. Uh, but please don't bash me. English is not my first language. Korean is definitely not my language and many others, but I'm trying. All right, let's go ahead and get started. A few hours earlier, the salon for distinguished guests in the South Palace. Why even invite me if they're just going to shun me? I just remember something I recently heard. A count caught a fish from a lake, and spurred by sudden curiosity, he had a tank filled with seawater. He put the fresh water fish he caught in it, but it died shortly after. It's proof that nothing good comes from straying from the environment one was born into. Saltwater fish belongs in the ocean, and freshwater fish belong in fresh water. Wow, and he is looking at her? I really hope he finds out. I hope they are related because he's gonna regret it. Oh, I couldn't agree more. That's the natural order of things. It's always the same. These people are so predictable. Or magic. Sir? Uh, I told you, no running in the lab. My magic came back. Back to the present. Have a look at this, Eveli. Is this your necklace? E yes, it is. Where did you find it? <gasps> I met with His Majesty to give him an update on how you're doing. And when I mentioned you're missing your necklace, he asked if this was yours. His Majesty had it? Yes, it appears he found it. I brought it back because it was imbued with mana, like you said, and it matched your description. I'm glad that you got it back. Huh. If this necklace is indeed restoring some of your mana, then you should be able to recover all of it. How did the Emperor stumble upon it when I lost it in the South Palace? Could that woman be involved? His Majesty wants to have the necklace studied to see if it can help other mages. Would you be willing to help him? Oh, sure. As long as I'm present when I it's being studied. A necklace that restores mana? Can I see it? <gasps> Whoa, what's going on? You Asla, Asya, Asya! Evelyn, get the first scissors now! Uh, got it! Zing. Was that like a magical, like, what's it called? Like a shield to protect the, the stone? Like, what was that? Why? Or did. Unless the man just rushed back into the girl or something. The Remarried Empress, episode 155. A necklace with the power to both restore and 
drain mana. We'll figure out what's causing this and restore your magic. Y your majesty. Evely, a word. Huh? Who gave you this necklace? The Dean. It was from an anonymous sponsor. He thought it would help me since mana, since mana if I kept it near me. He didn't offer any other information? No. I'll have to make a trip to Willwell to get the to the bottom of this. Your Majesty! <gasps> ah, why the rush? Well, the president of Bayer Consortium arrived. And, um, it appears. The office of Bayer Consortium. The office of Bayer Consortium. We've heard reports of people forging checks issued by merchant groups. We'll like to swap the ones we issued for new ones, just to be safe would be a big problem if the crown's checks were forged. Go ahead. Uh, I was livid the first time Mr. Florencio looked at our checks with suspicions. I'm worried about this recent surge of thieves producing counterfeit checks that appear to be from merchant groups. It's the first I've heard of it, but I doubt it's a big threat. Hmm. Come to think of it, the check Empress Rashta used to make her donation came from here, did it not? Why is he bringing up our check right after talking about counterfeits? Huh. Yes, we issued it. Our checks are a reliable form of currency that even the crown uses. They're not something that can be easily faked by some random thieves. I initially brushed it off as an unpleasant but temporary problem. But there was something that aroused my suspicions. We haven't issued any new checks to the Imperial family in a year, so there shouldn't have been one issued in Empress Rush's name. But if someone used a check that was originally issued in another person's name, The serial numbers on the check issued in Na Empress Nibir's name and the one Empress Rasha used to donate are the same. Does this mean Empress Rashta made a donation using the funds of the person she replaced? Uh, how disgraceful. <sighs> I had hopes that an Empress with commoner origins would u usher in a new era. Ah, oh, that is how she left. That is how she left. I can't ignore this. I have to contact that journalist. Oh, he's gonna get in trouble for that. Two days later. <gasps> I knew it. I knew it'd be discovered eventually. But... I didn't expect it to happen so soon. Y your Majesty, it's an emergency. Her Majesty. Huh? She's giving birth prematurely. She's giving birth already? Ooh. Mmm, this is gonna be interesting. But now the, journal the journalists are gonna get involved because, oh my gosh, the checks that was sent out was under Empress Navier's name, but it was actually sent out by Rashta. What's gonna happen? What are they gonna write? The people, the commoners are gonna want to have Rashta's head, okay? It's gonna get good. All right, now we're gonna find out about the birth part, okay? Because I know some of you guys are trying like not to spoil it. I kind of read the spoiler anyways, because I'm gonna read it regardless. But uh, it's going to get good. We're going to find out. Doo -doo -doo. If you guys enjoyed the way I read this and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!